hello my craft friend and welcome to my super secret dungeon crafting lair <laughs> glad to have you here now i was thinking about something i have all these wooden shapes right and these are great for making terrain out of and they're pretty cheap at the craft store the problem is when you make stuff that's supposed to be stone out of them you can still see the wood grain through the paint and it kind of ruins the illusion that it's stone but i have a cool way that you can do to change these to look like stone so you won't see that wood grain and ruin the illusion of stone. So let's hit my table. I'll, t I'll show you these cool shapes I picked up, and I'm going to change them to look like stone pedestals as opposed to wooden pedestals. Thank you. I picked up these wooden shapes. I thought they'd be great stone pedestals. You know, it'd be really difficult to carve these out of foam or any kind of other material. So, you know, all the work here is done for you as far as the shape. That's what's really cool about using these kind of wood shapes. Now, all I need to do now is cover that hole. These are kind of like candle holders, right? So I'm going to put the, like a wooden disc on top of it. And I'm just going to use the Elmer's glue all because it works great on wood. So I'm just going to use that and I'll let it dry and we'll be ready for the next step. Here's the magic material that's going to turn our wood to look like stone. It's called modeling paste. And this brand is great because it's uh, very economical. I found it on Amazon. You can follow my link to pick it up. Now let's look inside here. I really like this little plastic inner layer. It keeps the lid from getting all this gunk over it and kind of cementing to the, you know, the, the rings there where it opens. And this stuff is perfect for transforming our wood shapes into stone shapes. Now this is where the magic happens with this paste. You just kind of drag it across the surface and you'll get a nice texture on it actually. Uh, almost like you were painting a uh, oil painting, you know, you, get, you can kind of see the brush marks, which will look like hewn stone, but it's also going to cover up that wood, the wood texture on there, which we want to hide and make it look like stone. So this is, stuff is perfect. You want to make sure you get a nice thick coat on there. Uh, the thinner the coat, the less it's going to cover up uh, the wood texture. So make sure that you get a nice thick coat and you're filling in that wood texture. But you also don't want to lose the details of the piece. So you don't want to be too heavy, but you don't want to be too light. You want to find that nice kind of middle ground. Now this stuff dries pretty quick, so you can just let it dry for a few minutes and then paint the uh, part that you missed because uh, it was wet. And you're going to want to do this several times. So I would do it at least a couple times uh, to make sure that you're getting all the texture off there. Depending on how rough hewn the wood is, uh, you may have to do it two or three times. So uh, I recommend you do it a second time and then maybe even a third time if you're seeing some of the texture kind of peeking through the paste. This paste is very tough and uh, you won't have any problem with it coming off or peeling off the material. I've never ever had it come off an object I've used it on. I've used it on minis too uh, quite a bit. So yeah, it's a great kind of filler material as well as doing this you know, technique with turning it to stone. After we let it dry, after a very short while, we can start painting it. And I'm going to use my standard kind of stone colors. I like to use a gray, a tan, and my burnt uh, sienna. So I'll just paint that gray. And uh, once I get the whole object gray, I'll just start stippling on the other colors. I'll stipple on the burnt sienna and the tan. And I like to do that because it gives kind of a nice varied stone color you know stones aren't just one color they're not just gray they, they generally have other colors kind of marbled through the stone and uh, these are kind of my go-to colors uh, to do that after my pedestal dries I'm gonna wash it uh, this is just water black acrylic paint and a little bit of dish soap uh, and I'll just paint it on there and this will give a nice kind of weathered look it'll give uh, variance to the stone but uh, it'll also go in those cracks there and kind of give some shading and shadow. So just paint that on and then we'll let it dry. Now here it is, it's all dry. The last phase is going to be doing some dry brushing on here. So I'll just put uh, this light gray on the brush, my bristle brush, and just start dragging it across the surface. And you can see how that kind of texture we painted on there is starting to pop out. Really nice but we've lost the wooden texture, but we've uh, picked up the stone texture. So it was 
really cool technique and uh, I mean that's just you can't really get any easier than that for a stone shape I mean if you tried to carve this out you know styrofoam this would be <laughs> murder to do this and uh, it was just super simple you know uh, gluing the two pieces together putting the paste on it and just painting and finishing it up so what we'll do is we'll go to my table and we'll look and see what these look like uh, in a scene that I set up uh, for my game.